<clears throat> Good morning, people watching the 65 Lisa Voice. I just got back from the gym and dropping Zach off. So let me give you a verse of scripture. It's Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. We've got major quakes breaking out throughout the world. I finally, I, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that the Holy Spirit is about to release the church. Now, people can argue with me about that all they want. People can say whatever they want. I believe that the Holy Spirit is about to release the church. I don't know when. I don't know how. Well, there's only one way how, and that's the rapture. But that's what I'm picking up right now. So there is currently a swarm of quakes everywhere. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved. Oops. Sorry about that. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which, <laughs> yeah, need I say more? It's going to happen at any time. Sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, change you that's what he does so this just came out and it says here there is currently a swarm of powerful earthquakes happening in the banda sea and they just got a seven point something um earlier that's in indonesia i looked at the earthquake map and there are earthquakes in egypt turkey all these areas in Indonesia, that has already produced a magnitude 7.1, 7.0, 6.7 along the multiple strong quakes following the region. So I'm looking at this situation as well. Then Texas. Texas just had a 5.3 earthquake. The magnitude near, uh, I think it's Mentone, Texas, around 4.30 this morning. So the earthquake had a depth of around 4.9 miles, and its epicenter was about 22 miles west, southwest of the Mentone area. So the earthquake was felt as far away as Santa Teresa, New Mexico, That's a long way. And about 200 miles west of where the earthquake was uh, detected, according to National Weather Survey in El Paso. There are no immediate reports of injuries or anything like that right now, but it is being, the situation is being monitored. Now, also, yesterday, there was a cyber attack. Now, they're not saying... They're not really saying that it was a cyber attack, but anybody with ears and eyes can see what it was. So, oh, I think it's Optus, Optus CEO, uh, Kelly uh, Bayer, I think his name, Bayer, says the company is still working to find the cause of a network outage affecting millions. Now, that wasn't a, a please. Affecting millions of customers as well as vital services across the country. Pay attention because that's going to happen here. That's why I feel, and this is what I'm feeling. I'm picking this up big time. The Holy Spirit is about to release the church. And the, Holy, the only way the Holy Spirit will release the church is the rapture. Again, I don't know when, and I'm not going to sit here and pick a date and, you know, people, are, people can get ticked off all they want. I really don't care <laughs> what you say. Because the rapture is imminent. It is, it is happening. It's going to happen at any moment now. That's the season and the hour that we're in right now. 
this thing is going to happen. This cyber attack that happened in Australia, it's just bound to happen in the U.S. eventually. But I don't believe it's going to happen until the church is raptured. It says the company has not been able to find the fix, find and fix the cause of the outage, which tells you right there it was a cyber attack, which began just after 4 a.m. The team has tried a number of paths of, restor of restoration. So far, we have not had the results that we had hoped for. Hmm. And we're pushing every avenue to get everybody back online as soon as possible, she said. Um, said mobile phones are unable to make and receive calls. Mobile internet services are also down. Clearly, that was a cyber attack. Triple zero calls will not work from uh, Optus landline, and we are really, really apologetic. She said, I'm sorry, our connection has gone down today. The teams are working with a huge effort to try to restore services. Now, I, had a, I have a few subscribers from the land down under, Australia, and they said that it's coming up slowly. Some of them, I guess some places are got some services back. I don't know if all of it is back. She said they do not believe it is the result of a hack at this stage. <laughs> oh boy. You know why they say that? They don't want to panic anybody. It's too late for that though. They should just come out and tell the truth. Yeah, it was an attack. This is a rare occurrence. So it, all the words are saying, oh, it, all of this is rare and that everything is down, but yet it's not a attack or a cyber attack. So, okay. We urge Optus to uh, utilize other mechanisms, including broadcasting, radio, and television to get these messages out. How? If everything's down. Yeah. Then I got this news off of War News. Now, <laughs> this just came out this morning. It is over for Ukraine and Zelensky. It is over. American current and former officials are now speaking openly about the end of Zelensky, which will probably come in a not smooth way. The death of the closest associate of him, that, that came out yesterday, one of his associates. I think the name is Zelensky. Shows that the uh, army and security services of Ukraine are already preparing the successor situation. Something that has been noticed by Zelensky's close circle. So Ukrainian intelligence Chief Karel Badanev is a real threat to Zelensky. He could lead a military conspiracy against him to make peace with Russia. This is huge. Former U.S. Assistant uh, Secretary of Defense Stephen Bryan said, if there is a real threat to Zelensky, it comes from Krill and any alliance between him and the Ukrainian generals. Says Stephen Bryan, who sees the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's main intelligence dictate and the SBU as important elements of any change. According to him, the conspirators can force Zelensky to start peace negotiations with Russia or replace him with another president. Current developments uh, portend the worst for Zelensky and Ukraine. Soldiers on the battlefield already knew this. Now, I had said a year ago, not even a year ago, there's one way to get rid of him. Ukrainian President Zelensky may no longer be in Ukraine in the coming year. And it goes on to say, I don't think it will be, I don't think it will be in Ukraine. And if he is there, 
he will be hiding. Which is what I thought. We can say this that this is the end of Zelensky. So what this is saying is that, like I had said less than a year ago, there's a price on his head now. They're going to figure out some way to get rid of him. One way or another. So it says, Americans and Ukrainians exchange accusations about the failures of the Ukrainian armed forces on the battlefield. The American newspaper Washington Post reveals uh, behind the scenes, Ukrainian and American officials often point out, point at each other. But at the Washington Post, as the Washington Post noted, the failure of the counterattack by the Ukrainian armed forces worsened American-Ukrainian relationships. So basically, in other words, they're focusing on Iran and Israel right now. That's what the U.S. is doing. I knew this was going to happen. It was a way for everybody to get away from uh, Ukraine. And that's exactly what they just did. Now, let's see how long the U.S. stays with Israel. Just saying. Sam. So I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Um, it says down here, the president of Ukraine is facing big problems due to the growing dissatisfaction at all levels of uh, Ukrainian society, reports the Washington Post. It says the issue of, a, of the stalemate on the military front is particularly sensitive as officials fear it could threaten to put further pressure on negotiations with Russia. Yeah, yeah. These problems make it even more difficult for Zelensky's government to convince even its closest allies of the need to supply it with far more weapons, money, and other resources. Yeah, he's done. Definitely done. They got bigger problems right now. <laughs> so I'm going to link this in the description box and I'm going to link the uh, article about the cyber attack and other things here in the description box. And... Again, thank you for your prayers and your support, and I will be back later. Thank you.